Hi, I'm Naomi Mijan. I'm the senior editor with Building Operating Management Magazine. I'm here at NFMT 16 in Baltimore with the FM Excellence winners going over some of the highlights from their presentations and their <laughs> submissions. And we're by Starbucks, so you might be hearing a little bit of Frappuccino background noises, so I apologize for that. Um, with me, I have Tony Matre. He's the assistant director with Hamilton, Hamilton County, Ohio. And um, they undertook a very large energy efficiency program across very many, uh, lots of square footage, lots of buildings in the county. So we're going to talk a little bit about what you guys did. So first, Tony, thanks for taking the time to speak with me. I appreciate it. Um, so first, let's go b before the program started. What what kicked it off? Was it 2009? I don't... 2010. 2010? So what, why was the um, Energy Conservation Measure Program undertaken in the first place? Um, the economy itself with uh, everybody looking for money and the, us being a government entity and not, the money just wasn't there to, uh, there to operate anymore. So we chose to uh, look for, uh, do go through energy efficiencies and try to do that, mm -hmm. do the projects. What might be some of the more innovative or some maybe some of your favorites of what you implemented? Um, of course the solar. Uh, it was kind of neat and something that was we've never done before. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought uh, some of that was it is interesting and hopefully it works well and it seems to be working now. So that's solar water heating? For solar water heating. And how does that work? Is that, is that tubes on the roof or? Yeah, it's solar, panels, solar panels on the roof mm -hmm. that uh, the, is used to heat domestic hot water okay. for prisoners to take showers and for uh, hot water in the jail. So you guys are in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Does that take like? Do you have to do any heating of that water at all, or that takes care of the whole thing? Right now, it's taking care of the whole thing. So hopefully, it continues. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, don't know how it'll handle in snow and that kind of stuff, but uh, it's holding up well now. Mm -hmm. In the application, there was a story about how among all the. Um, things that you were pursuing, one was well water makeup for the courthouse. And I forget why, but that wasn't going to pan out. Um, uh, they didn't find water. Oh, <laughs> that would be a challenge. <laughs> so, but there was an, uh, instead of having that Jeep be just kind of a, a, not wasted effort, but just a dead end, you were able to then pivot into another strategy, um, which was the free cooling, chilled water, heat exchanger, burner control, so solar water, domestic heating, which is what you just talked about. How did you have that in place that you could easily kind of go, you know, plan B? Well, I would say go back to the audits for the building. When we looked at uh, industrial grade audits for the building, we kind of lined up all the avenues that could or may be potential savings. And when one failed, we kind of went to plan B and decided again to regroup again and uh, pick the ones that we felt best that would help us. Was it a situation um, where it was you wanted to do both strategies but when one didn't work you could still pursue the other one or is it that when this one didn't couldn't move forward that freed up capital to pursue the other ones? It was more I believe more for what was potentially more savings. Okay. So if it was worth the cost to put in there and worth the savings those are the ones we we're looking for first and just we just didn't get the, the savings out of the ones that we ended up doing got it got it aggressive very um uh just very wide energy efficiency projects like this one what what are some kind of lessons learned learn from what we did kind of tips uh i think the biggest piece um is get everybody on board to get a piece of it uh to take a little bit of ownership in it uh, from our management team down to our, our building managers to their staff get everybody involved and let them have a part in it and then they can at least work together and hopefully but you know we're going to be dealing with for a number of years to make sure that we have the savings get them on board first 